Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and in this video I'll be setting up some smart plugs from Tekin, T-E-C-K-I-N, with our Alexa and Google Home devices. Now this is your reminder to mute your Alexa and Google Home devices as I will be using the wake words often in this video. So let's get started. Hey Google, turn smart socket on. You got it, turning on the smart socket. Alexa, turn smart socket off. Alexa, turn smart socket on. Hey Google, turn smart socket off. Okay, turning off the smart socket. Let's start with an unboxing right here. And this is the box that it came in. And I'm gonna turn it around and I got, wow, I got four smart plugs in this package right here. And here's the documentation. There's a little QR code that I need to scan to get the app installed. And here are the smart plugs. Let's see, it's three prong. There's a little button on the side to turn off and on manually. And let's see, I can take all four of these out. And I think that's about it. Yep, that's everything in the box right there. And we'll get this all put together in this video. Now we're gonna get started setting up our Tech In Smart Plugs here. I now have my Tech In Smart Plug plugged in and I've got my lamp right here plugged in. Now we're gonna go through the setup process. I'm doing a screen record. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to the Play Store and we are gonna search for the Smart Life app. Now how do I know I need the Smart Life app? Well, it says so here in the instructions uh, right here. And so I'm gonna search for Smart Life. And I already have this app installed on my phone because there are other uh, smart plug manufacturers that, that also use the same app, okay? So if I didn't already have this app on my phone, I would just go ahead and install it. But since I already have this app on my phone, I'm just gonna hit open right here and it launches right into my Smart Life app and you can see the other devices I already have on my account here. I'm gonna hit the plus button in the top right hand corner and then I can look at the different types of equipment I can add. So I've got a plug, so I'm gonna hit electrical outlet right here and it says that the, the plug needs to rapidly blink and the light for this plug is, there is nothing going on right now. So let me, I can turn it on and it's blue and I can turn it off. I'm gonna hit the link that says how to make the indicator rapidly blink on my phone. And what it's gonna tell me is I need to power on the device, then I'm gonna power it off after 10 seconds and then power it on. When they mean power off the device, they mean to unplug it, the entire thing, and then plug it back in again. And that should reset it. I'm gonna hold the reset button for five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. And that should get it to rapidly blink. And now it is rapidly blinking. So I am going to confirm indicator rapidly blink. And I'm gonna enter my Wi-Fi password and it should connect right up. And there it goes. And it says it is a smart socket. And I can change the name right here if I want to. But I think smart socket is a pretty good name. So I'm gonna hit done here and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use the regular switch to turn it back on again. Socket is on, I'm gonna touch it and it turns off, on and off. So now it works great from the Smart Life app. Perfect, that is key to getting this to work. Now that we've got it working with the Smart Life app, now we need to go into our Alexa companion app. So this is Alexa, uh, when you're going to the Play Store, you wanna search on Alexa. You sh hopefully, if you already have one of these devices, you already have the Alexa app already on your phone when you set up your Amazon Echo. I've launched the Amazon Alexa app here. It goes into my home. I'm gonna hit the menu button at the top left-hand corner here, and I'm gonna hit Smart Home. Now, at this point, it is really tempting to just hit the add device button right here. I'm not gonna do that. There is another step that we need to do, which is making sure that we have that Smart Life app on our authorized list of smart home apps in our Alexa app. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna hit your smart home skills at the very bottom. And I'm gonna hit enable smart home skills. And I'm gonna check to see if I have that Smart Life app 
authorized on my Amazon account. So I'm going to type in Smart Life. And this is Smart Life. And I need to enable it for this to work. So I'm going to hit Enable. And then I need to do Account Linking, which means that I need to type in my login and password from Smart Life and authorize Amazon to use it. And I've typed in my login and password. I'm going to hit Link Now. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to authorize this to work. And I get a successfully linked message. Excellent. I need to close the window by pressing the X in the top left hand corner and then a pop up should happen. Oh, and there it is. And it says discover devices and I'm going to hit discover devices and that should put my lamp into my list of devices I can use with my Amazon Echo. Oh, and here it is. Let's uh, scroll down and see if we see a smart socket. Oh, here it is smart socket. I'm going to hit that and from my Alexa app I can now turn on my lamp or turn it off. But what you want to see is me doing this with the Alexa. So I'm going to uh, go Alexa turn on smart socket and then I'll say Alexa turn off smart socket. We've got it working with our Alexa now. Perfect. Next, let's get this working with the Google Home for our Google Home friends here. So I'm going to back out of the Alexa app and I'm going to go into the Home app here. And I'm at the Home screen on the Google Home app. I'm going to hit the menu, top left hand corner again. I'm going to select Home Control. And in this scenario for Google Home, I'm going to hit the plus button to add devices and I am going to search for Smart Life and it should take me to a login page once again. I will log in and authorize Google Home to access my Smart Life account and I'm going to hit link now and I'm going to hit authorize and it should say it should say done but let's see if it works. Hey Google turn Smart Socket on. Okay turning the Smart Socket on. And it works. Hey Google turn Smart Socket off. You got it, turning the smart socket off. And it works, simple as that. We've got it working now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye now.